kernel from Microsoft, it shipped you know, billions of copies. Um, so what they'll do is they'll pull up and they'll decide, okay, I want to go to a web page. So you pull up a web page, wherever you happen to be, local content, and you can go off and surf the web. Most of these web pages have flash video inside them, or there's flash renderings. As again, you can see there's no issue doing this. Again, we're well under a watt while doing this for the whole system. You might want to go off and look at uh, your picture that, um, that you've taken, you want to share when you're traveling. Go to a page like SmugMug or one of the local picture sharing sites. And then finally for Flash, so this is, uh, what we'll show is, is an application called Flash Earth. So uh, I did a, uh, a briefing the other day with one of the technology analysts and uh, he wanted to call my bluff on Flash. So he said, well, if you can really do Flash, pull up Flash Earth. So here we are running again on one of our partner's devices and we're, we're uh, zooming out of, to show where we are. Here we are in Taiwan and we'll zoom back in. pretty fluid, again, well under a watt. So you can do these kinds of things for days on this device. Don't land us in the water, Stuart. Perfect. Okay. So uh, we talked a little lot about being able to do the HD web, how Flash is so important. So we have partnered deeply with Adobe uh, for many years now. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is share with you sort of their views on the web and their views on the partnership with NVIDIA. Thanks, Jensen. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, but we're pleased to have Adobe participate in your press event and announcing an important partnership between our companies that we think is going to benefit users of portable internet connected devices all around the world. We believe it's also important that the next generation of these devices integrate GPU technologies such as the Tegra SOC in order to deliver a complete, consistent flash experience across a wide range of devices. We've seen flash be adopted by numerous media and studios all around the world and to this day, we have an audience of almost 2 million developers that use Flash on a daily basis. Uh, you've got to be able to listen to audio. If, if you carry this around in your backpack, kids carry it on campus, they're going to listen to audio um, you know, out of their backpack for a day at a time. So what we're capable of doing with the Tegra platforms is literally listen to music for 25 days. That's almost a month of listening to music on a single battery. Uh, that compares to about five hours on Atom-based systems and probably about 60 hours or less than one-tenth of what we're capable of doing on Snapdragon systems. These are, let's take a look at some of these devices. So first we've got uh, from Compile Communications. So this is the uh, CN88. It's got a, uh, uh, it's a clamshell device. It's got a 10.1 inch display, and it is, uh, it's a 1,000 by 600 pixel uh, display. 